Good morning and happy Manic Monday again, guys. This commentary is for the second match that was aired in the doubleheader round that was featured in last week's Friday's match of schools challenge quiz. And this featured the following schools. Um, Dintil, Dintil High and Hampton. Good old Hampton. Um, so first of all, big ups to Dintil. Big ups to Dintil. Um, they, 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 them put out, them, them do them thing. Them do them thing, guys, in all fairness. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed on the Hampton side because I was looking for my girls to give them a better run for their money, especially in the last segment. So, so let's touch on the, on the rounds. Yeah. So let's just go through the series of events of what transpired. Dintel was basically, you know, straight out there. They took a, a, a head start out of the starter blocks. Um, the opening challenge ended on Dintel on a strong eight and, and Hampton on five. Now, during the speed section, the two of them equalize. The two of them level off. And they tied at 15. They tied at 15 points each. Mark you. That 15 is not a good indication of what Dintil strength is, is looking like. Because it means that you only racked up seven points in the in the in three minutes three separate minutes of of your your buzzer section sorry of your speed section so the average them it now cut it it never did cut it for me so it means that hampton performed better during the speed section than you did until so come we go down to the buzzer round now buzzer round the two of them, oh Jesus. Um. They asked the question about Spanish. Nobody had answer. They asked about French. Nobody had answer. They asked about chemistry. They asked about physics. They asked about maths. People, them weak. They did weak really bad. And if if Hampton had even answered any of the languages, they wouldn't have ended up the way they did. At the, by the close of, of the buzzer section. So, pull up on the socks. So, while I'll appreciate that they did put out a lot of effort with their with their limited, you know, knowledge of things, I, I think the coaches need for, for putting more time in getting them prepared. Um, How they got the edge? How Dintel got the edge now? Uh, it's the, they answered the sports question. Um, what else did they answer? I think it was an RE question as well that gave them the push because the girl who, the girls only answered about the question about Dolly Parton and the art question. Um, and then they they fought on the, on the bio question. They didn't listen to the rest of it being read. So the score ended on Dintil on nineteen and Hampton on seventeen. So it was close, but, you know, Dintel was the better of the two schools. So all the best, Dintel. Take care.